Hello guys, I'm Enzo and I'm back with another video of DSP MATLAB introduction and I'm here with you with uh, useful information about Windows okay uh, Windows which is something that we use very often in uh, ADO processing or um, image processing and you should have an idea about uh, the shape and the um, actually how to plot them and how to create them so the first one uh, and most uh, useful one that we use in especially in audio processing is hamming window in order to build a hamming window uh, we need to have a uh, variable name for example h m is equal to hamming okay and in the parentheses uh, we need to insert the length of our uh, hamming window for example we need it to be about 1024 you can insert any number here but I think this is uh, good to see uh, and we want to plot it uh, as I explained in the previous videos you can use subplot and here is the uh, we have one two three four five I think we can divide it in five sections so five row and one column and in the first one you want to plot ham okay let's see what will happen after we plot it press f5 in order to run your application okay this is the hamming window and it's kind of a bell shape uh, we call it and uh, in the future you will see the importance of this windows especially hamming and hanging window okay there are many characteristics in the frequency domain uh, about these windows and uh, as we gonna learn FFT tools uh, in the future uh, you should wait until a couple of videos to see the uh, usage and also the meaning of these windows in frequency domain so uh, just learn about the shape of the windows in this video uh, the second thing that we uh, need to know uh, is Hanning window Han uh, in it, it's uh, like this Okay, uh, again, we need to plot it uh, for a couple of samples. Here, uh, I think it's better to have a time resolution. I'm gonna add a section here, for example, uh, global. I see uh, global, and then uh, t is gonna be our time from zero to one. Uh, okay this is the length that we are talking about and this will be T uh, for our time and we want to plot a new window here I'm gonna insert the previous code just change the uh, 1 to 2 and here we need Han okay and let's see what happens don't forget to uh, close this uh, lined because it will run in the command window and it will take a little bit longer uh, to execute the code okay press a five okay you see hanging and hamming are uh, very different uh, very similar windows uh, in here um, it's a little bit different it's not initially starting from exactly zero it's a little bit uh, biased uh, and also there are different version of these uh, you can make them make them by your own there is a formula and um, 
also in Python and other languages it's a little bit different so don't be worried about the shape it works uh, perfectly in any uh, type of usage that you have okay and another thing I should mention is Bartlett window uh, we saw this one in previous video with another name uh, Bart it's not from Simpsons character which should be okay Bartlett is exactly like this okay but to be small b okay and again here and I think we should subplot it close the statement and number three and it's gonna be Bart so uh, I think in order to keep the tracks I think it's necessary to uh, use title okay tie uh, toe and I think it's like this sorry okay in the quotations we're gonna name this one Hanning and Hamming sorry Hamming and here another thing we should mention is uh, Hanning another thing it's Bartlett I think it's uh, useful to add a okay I think it's enough for now uh, title having and recognize a title I think it's tight toe yeah my bad I sometimes uh, forget okay okay this is the Bartlett window uh, there's a small chance we executed the title uh, okay uh, Bartlett is uh, like a triangular window so uh, should be a very up it's kind of shape so you can use it in future signal processing uh, I'm gonna put this plot after the uh, subplot and title after plot so I think it's okay let's see okay perfect yeah and we have a better understanding of these two mm. let's change this one into two, three, four, maybe uh, 0.5 okay let's see if it's running okay no problem uh, T is like another toy 0.5 I think it will be okay yeah and then another thing that we should understand is a rectangular window uh, I think uh, the code was. Uh, let me put a lot of space here so we can you know, understand it better. Okay, another window that we want to plot is rect. And uh, rect, I think it's a good name for this one. Rect and rectangular. We're going to copy this one here. Okay, and then press a 5. I will rect, uh, okay, sorry, rect win. I think it was, yeah, it's a rectangular window, it's not uh, something really different, it's just uh, you can see it's a rectangular, you know, uh, it, it's uh, constant over the time, and also it is really good to see this thing in the uh, 
frequency domain let's put this one to four in order to compare it in uh, next section and uh, this window is uh, responding to try and uh, try and get I think and uh, try is good for this one try and we're gonna name this one triangle and then we're gonna plot it in the fifth subplot uh, okay, you see uh, there's a little bit different with triangle and Bartlett. Bartlett. Uh, it's just a matter of name, and also uh, their functions are slightly different uh, in the math labs, and also uh, you see the uh, time domain of all these things. Uh, maybe we can put here. Uh, X label, uh, X label for uh, time, and we're gonna put uh, samples, okay? And in the Y label, Y label, sorry, label, label, we're gonna put. Uh, amp so better to have it here you see it's time sample and it's amplitude over here so this is uh, the one of the five uh, important uh, windows that you should uh, be aware of this uh, in the signal processing uh, it's going to be really useful when you talk about these things in frequency domain. Just have the idea of the shapes and also uh, you can uh, have a little research on them and try to implement them and try to you know play with them in order to remember them better. Okay guys, uh, thank you for watching me and also don't forget to subscribe down here. Okay, uh, have a good day. Bye.